Hey G Money Gang members, welcome back to the channel today. As you can see in the title, if you're a writer, then this is entirely your video. So I have been in this writing industry for over three decades in all in practice, but professionally for the last 13 years. And I have seen quite a lot, guys, from the downside to the upside. And usually, if you're like me and you have a knack for writing, expressing yourself, you blog, you do all of those things, you hold your ground on social media, and then you are usually at a loss. As I should remember myself enough to make money. How come people are enjoying my stories, but they are not asking me to write for them in that sense? And even when they do, the, the money that they're willing to pay is so meager that I'm wondering, can writing actually be a career? Now, I'm going to give you 12 in-demand, highest paying writing careers that you should brand yourself according to your ability, your certification, your strength, your skills, your experience to stand out in this year and going forward. No more beating about the bush, guys. And if you've watched at this point and today is your first time seeing my face, welcome. We talk about opportunities for making money, especially for Africans, because by all means, we want to win, girl. We want to win. Okay. So if you're a writer, like I said, this is your video, and this is a good time to give this video a thumbs up. And if maybe you get at the end of this video and these 12 career path aren't exactly what you expected then you can always unlike but right now give this video a thumbs up for me please thank you so i'm going to run through these 12 um career paths that you can totally brand yourself as a writer even if you have been blogging all the years doing social media marketing all the years you can actually focus on this one thing because the Riches are still in the niches, guys. When people can know that, oh, she does this type of writing, we should contact her. You're able to also pitch the brands and stand your ground on a particular aspect that you have chosen and get retainer jobs and get writing for organizations and people on a consistent basis because they can now trust that your expertise is in one place. Okay, um, it's time to play down on all of this writing for everybody, creative writing that we can monetize enough of it this year and going forward so here are the 12 in demand career that are really high paying the seventh one will blow your mind so make sure you watch till the end okay number one lucrative in demand writing career you can pursue is to be a grant writer wow of course you should know that anything you write that will help somebody else make money will pay you will pay you you know and that is grant writing has to do with researching and writing in a way to package non-profit organizations in particular to get support and funding from funding partners so whatever you can do to research to learn to practice to be able to help organizations package organization and their works in a way that it becomes attractive for potential funders to actually give them money to continue with their humanitarian activities that's grant writing and that totally pays it pays as much as sixty thousand dollars annually or salary on the average and of course you must know that you, have, you must have a keen eye for spotting the key things that um, funders want to see when it comes to non-profit and the activity to be able to scale through and do great writing right number two is speech writer speech writers cash out at least sixty seven thousand dollars on annual salary income yearly in places like US and of course you know that it has to do with writing you know what is in somebody else's mind presenting them in a, in a way that they want to appear you know for a particular event yeah majorly I know the kind of people who need speeches are usually top executives people who matter right you so you won't be surprised that it pays up to sixty seven thousand dollars and above in annual revenue when I read about this and I'm like oh my gosh I remember that one of my biggest my sweetest speeches I wrote you know about a year ago there is I charge about $15,000 and that's because I it's not something I carve as, as a niche for me to do. The person reached out because she knows I write and I did a fantastic job if I say so myself and she was willing to pay. Of course, she, she first of all said, oh my god, it's so expensive and all of that thing that Nigerians typically do. <laughs> but okay, so if you're thinking like me, speech writing can be brief, it can be long. If you're writing for a presidential speech, it can be longer, but in all, it's still briefer. It's anything like briefer. That write a book and all of, all of those things. So you could think about carving a niche around this and make um and see yourself become highly in demand as a writer. Number three career path you can choose as a writer is content writer. 
Yes, as a content writer, you're, you're willing to write blog posts, uh, white papers, ebooks, and the rest. And you must be very knowledgeable with search engine optimization so that maybe your article gets on there, it picks up. Okay? You must also be able to learn how to write for social media as a content writer. And it pays over $81,000 annually yes higher than the speech writer and even higher than the grant writer so it's so in demand need i say more <laughs> yes number four copywriter i used to have this idea that a copywriter was like you know really high up there but this blew my mind because number seven blew my mind in particular i have always known that it's so in demand but i didn't think it had that whole prospect but number four copywriter is another great niche this is about learning to write taglines phrases and sentences in a way that will sell a product or a service in a way that will make it persuasive for somebody to be compelled to buy whatever it is that you're writing about okay and it's so much in demand for people who are selling courses products whatever name it and if you're in the u.s it can make a whooping fifty three thousand dollars annually in salary and income right and trust me trust me you can totally do this you can copywriters they are cashing out every day even much more than this and sometimes you know building up to this as well number five for this you need to learn how to simplify complex things and make it easy to understand that is technical writer technical writers are the ones who write manuals how to guides and things to help people to use either product or services or, or devices and the rest, you know what I mean? And it's such a huge, huge, huge career path that is so in demand, trust me, and you can make as much as $78,000 in annual income as a technical writer, again, in the US and in virus, okay? And of course, if you're not living in the US like myself, you can always use that to benchmark, you know, and know what to charge. So this is to give you an idea of what it is worth in a way it matters, I think, in where the demand is really high. Number six, did you know that as an editor like myself, you can make up to $63,000 annually from working with writers, deciding on publications, what goes first, being able to streamline the content that needs to go at, particular, at a particular time, know the right things to say per time, plan it, content strategy and let it flow and also making sure that it comes out with finesse. The editor is so much in demand. And yes, it can pay over $63,000 annually. Annually, guys. Yes. So what are we talking about? Now, the seventh one. Now, I have had a lot of people who are in the medical field, pharmaceuticals and the rest, and they don't ask themselves, how do these people who sell drugs, who sell devices, medical devices, who writes those things that help people use the equipment, take drugs, all of those things, or even in, art, in, in, um, in medical journals and the rest. Medical writers are so much in demand, especially in Africa. Guys, do you guys know how much they earn in the US, in places like the US? And you know, you need to have a medical degree, you need to understand pharmaceuticals and things on that line, public health, you know, to be able to understand medical jargons and also let other people understand it. To work with pharmaceutical companies, healthcare organizations is a big deal. And that's why people who write for medical publications make as much as $102,000 annually. You heard me right. $102,000. Over that, remember I'm mentioning the average fee per annum. That is even higher sometimes than people who are actually working as doctors in hospitals. Can you see that? Okay, medical writers are so sought after. Who is going to write these things for patients to understand? Who is going to write things that, you know, come out from conferences, medical organizations, pharmaceutical conferences? Who is going to interpret it in a way that, you know, the public can consume? A medical writer, right? So, what are you waiting for? Number eight, ghost writer. If you're somebody who can work with people to get their ideas written down in, on their website, on their blog, for their books, you know, writing about their lives or they're about, then you can totally make a whole lot of money doing this. You must be somebody who pays attention to details and what people want. And of course, be able to be proactive to know how to interpret what people's thoughts are. People who do ghost writing in the US make as much as $64,000 annually and more annually, guys, ghost writing for people, 
writing website content. And you know why this is so surreal? Like, God, this is what I've been doing for years. I'm recharging way lower than this. Way, way lower than this. And the catch is always to get into pitching your talent in places where they can retain you and they can pay you on the stead because you keep providing content for them on an ongoing basis. Number nine is the content strategist, the person who sets the plan about what kind of content is to be created. You know, you have to understand the business goals and aspirations that the people have or the person has to be able to set the kind of content, whether video, text and um, photos, whether it is carousels, whether it is um, case studies, whatever. You are the person who decides when and how and what content that goes into making sure that the organization's goals are met. The marketing and sales go as planned. A content strategy is so needed. Even when you have a lot of writers and editors, the content strategy is like the manager of them or the person who says, okay, let's go, if you know what I mean. And they get paid a whooping over $76,000 on annual salary. Again, I know some people have been doing all of this. They are content strategists, they are content managers, they are editors, and sometimes they do all of these three or four things for one task or for one client and they are charging way less. They don't even know how to segregate them into specialties like this and get in demand pay. That's why I'm making this video, guys. This is not the year to slack. This is not the year to sit on money and keep looking for money. All right, number 10, social media manager. Okay, that's so like in demand. But you know, it was very shocking to me recently when I discovered that social media management is one of those jobs that in the next 10, 10 to 20 years may not be an actual job because, you know, with AI and everything happening, very soon people will be able to manage their pages, do their own things. But of course, nothing is still going to replace human input, human knowledge, storytelling, if you know what I mean, real life storytelling, imputed in content, so no fears. But social media managers are one of the people who are also cashing out big time. You can also do that as a niche. So creating content for Instagram, Facebook, and the like, and knowing what to put out there, how to call to action, and all of those things, and creating a community and a personal brand using those platforms is something that social media managers must do and can do to earn a living. And they earn as much as about $60,000 every year. $60,000 every year. Remember, the formula is the same. You must be able to identify your clients or potential clients, pitch to them so that they can give you a retainer and you manage their social media pages on an ongoing basis. I had a veterinary company I worked for for three years, three years plus, you know, managing their content, their social media platforms, and it was quite rewarding guys okay so you should not sleep on this one okay number 11 translators translations are a big deal in the writing industry people who can you know take a book or take a manuscript or take a website content and interpret it into another language effortlessly and be able to judge even when you you are able to translate something you know, verbatim, be able to have a good sense of judgment to be able to not lose the meaning of what they're interpreting and make sure that the thoughts are retained. That is such an expertise you can leverage on if you're a good translator. So all you have to do is look at languages that you're already fluent at and, you know, take them and market yourself as somebody who, who does from this to this or from this to this. Simple. And do you know how much translators earn annually in the US? They earn over $68,000 every year translating right and the final but not the least another very amazing this was actually the number one on my mind i was thinking that this was actually going to be the highest paid until i did my research and grammarly was like no way all right so proposal writers proposal writers people who are able to write for people in a way that will convince other people like funders to support them you know they make a whole lot of money and they make about $88,000 in annual income every year. You heard that right, $88,000 in annual income every year. Writing proposals for people, helping them pitch to people that can support them and can fund them persuasively. So you know, you have to understand how to write persuasively. You must be able to understand the goals and the works of the person or the individual or the organization that you are writing or interpreting their thoughts for. And these are 12 areas that are so key that I'm sure you can plug yourself into any of these 12 which are so in demand. You know, close your eyes 
you know, against every other kind of writing you've been doing and focus on, on the one you have chosen today after watching this video. Craft yourself, brand yourself that will begin to provide content in that line and watch sales roll in. Watch sales roll in. Guys, this is amazing, right? If you have questions, put them in the comment section as usual. Now give the good time to give this video a thumbs up if you didn't in the first session and totally join the community as I'll bring you more tips on how to totally make money from what you already know and who you are. Okay? Cheers!